folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 90, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's flat. Gold, gold contract up $28.60, trading at 2061 an ounce. You get silver up 34 cents, $25.38 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 59. $76.46 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note, trading up 15 ticks, 109.15. The 30 year up nine ticks at 116.10. And you get the 10 year right now, folks, at 4.34. Now, the thing that's pretty cool, man, I mean, we hit 5.02. Uh, bottom line, it's been a one way shift right from that 5.02, which is approximately uh, about three and a half, th about three weeks ago. And King Dollar. King Dollar continues to give it up. King Dollar right now is trading down 400, uh, 393 ticks, 102,806. The euro is at 109. The yen is trading at 147. The British pound's at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is you, you've had a run, no doubt about that. Now you're basically building cars. We've been building cars here for five days. You got an S&P that's in an ABC structure up. 462 is the number. We're at 454. My take is that we're going to get it. We'll see how this shakes out, but that's how this is setting up. We go into the NDX 100. Now, the NDX had already broken the top of the highs, and th that's in an ABC structure also. Uh, bottom line is that you can see, though, that clearly just blew that thing away. You know, you, you cut, you, you're waffling back and forth on it. Same type of setup, though. You're building cars for higher price. Now, let's just go into the notes and bonds which are running the market, including the dollar. So if we take a look at the 10-year first, what you're going to see in the 10-year is that yesterday, and particularly because we just come back from the Thanksgiving holiday, the volume exploded in the 10-year and the 30-year, meaning the buy-in volume. When you're pushing into swings, you push in with volume, your probability gets much higher, you're going to blow that away, which is exactly what we did out here today. So we're at 109, and what's game here is uh, 114. You know, and at 114, the bottom line is that that's going to be breaking the 4% mark in a month's away, actually. Uh, 10 year, 10, let's see. Let me do it this way, because I believe, uh, I'll, th I'll do it this way when, when we start the, uh, after I do this. Okay, gold. You know, we were talking about gold yesterday, and, well, we talk about gold all the time, actually. But the bottom line is that what it was doing is that we had a few equities that busted their consolidation. Uh, bottom line, you're up 28 bucks today. You get volume behind the move. And what you're going to see is that this is a true bust with conviction. We take a look at the XAU, what you're going to see, four month, four month consolidation right there, busted. I expect we're going to have the volume also, as well as the XAU. You take a look at the XAU, same type of setup. You get the bust, we'll get the volume tonight, but I can tell by the amount of volume that's in the, in the actual equities, you get, a, you get a bust with conviction, top side. And of course, if we go over to the dollar, what you're gonna see out here is that between the dollar and bonds, and I've been you know, talking about the aspect that this is a huge turn, folks, okay? <coughs> the interest rate structure in particular, but it's hitting both. The dollar just can't hold, hold price anymore. If we take a look at this dollar, what you're gonna see is that there's just about you have five days of support. So, you know, when you talk about support and resistance, folks, it's all about how many days that they traded, whether you're trying to bust it on the way up or bust it on the way down. And you can see right here, what you have here is only five more days, man. This thing's going to get down to this 
500 uh, very fast, <laughs> as is gold. You know, if we take a look at gold, my take is that this is the run that we're gonna go to 2,500. So if you take a look at this GC1, it's the combination of the interest rate structure and the dollar. That's, that's what this is coming down to. And time. You know, if you take a look at time, what you're going to see is that we've been consolidating for three years. You know, and so you consolidate with three years. That is a huge amount of cause. And, you know, of course, still has got to take out the B point, take it out with volume. But the bottom line is I expect that's exactly what you're going to see. And we're approaching it, man. <laughs> I mean, we're coming right up to this thing. Uh, right now, you get the at 241, and we're talking. You only need we only need another day like this, actually. Actually, a couple days, a couple days like that. And when that blows top side, <laughs> get out of the way, man, because the equities are already off to the races in a monster way. If you haven't test driven the gold report yet, folks, get over there and do it, okay? Because the the bottom line, when these runs happen, uh, they're fast, they're furious. And, you know, my take is that, uh, you know, it's not even, you're just, you're not at the beginning of the run because a, a few of these are off the, the lows pretty good, okay? But the bottom line is that you're, you're talking about plenty of upside. If we look at, you know, uh, Anglo Ashanti, there's, there's a bunch of these we own. And, you know, even with Anglo Ashanti, you're talking about right now is like a, a $19 stock. Well, that's going that to must go to 30 bucks, man. <laughs> so... You know, the gold market, silver market is small. You take, go over to wheat and precious metals. This is one of the largest silver brokers out there. It had already busted top side. It's up another buck 46 out here today. Uh, bottom line is that the, the run's on. That's, that's what it comes down to. And you can see this one here. Uh, it gets really intriguing, actually, when you look at it, because we've already broken, not only broken the downtrend, but this thing wants to make its run to the highs. And we'll see on some of these, are they going to be major ABC structures on the way up? I mean, that's, that's what we very well could have. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, up 80. NASDAQ is up 5. S&P's down 2.5. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.